Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be finishing up the Consecrated Snowfields, along with making our way to Mogwin's Palace. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do much. All I did is went back to the round table hold and leveled up my Fang and Ashes to plus 10. That's going to come in handy a little later. And that's all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be right over here. Our second marker is going to be right over here. Our third one's going to be over here. The fourth one is going to be right over here. And then lastly, our fifth one will be right over here. Now you want to make sure that it's nighttime. We're going to be fighting two Knights Calvary in just a moment. We're going to hop on Torrent first. Be really careful for those balls of lightning when we're fighting the Knights Calvary. You can get rid of them if you want. I'm not going to bother with them. I'll just give them a wide berth. Here's our first Knights Calvary. Up on Torrent. We're going to come over here, kill these Page Knights. We don't want them interfering while we're trying to kill our second Knight's Calvary. Pull out our bow. That's very close. So for killing them, we get the Knight's Calvary armor set, along with an ancient dragon smithing stone. Let's go ahead and come over here and get the trolls to stop the carriage. Pick up the flowing curved sword. And then we see two of those bald lightnings. We're going to run by them and just do your best to dodge their attacks. I like to come over here to the cliff. Try to hide underneath here. At least the best I can. 
And then we'll come over here and grab ourselves a stone sword key. Now we're going to fast travel over to the inner consecrated snow field. Let's start making our way to the second marker. We're going to run right past the third marker. Don't worry about it. We'll be coming back for that in just a second. First, we're going to be coming up here to get an item. Again, just be careful for these enemies. Do your best to dodge them. Get a somber smithing nine. And then be really careful. It's going to be three enemies. One is stuck in the ground. Be careful not to hit him. The other two you can hit. The one stuck in the ground is going to be a rune bear. So we want to buff up. Hit him. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed it. Lame. Oh, he got me. No. Ouchies. All right. So for killing the rune bear, we get a larval tier. going to start making our way to the fourth marker. Going to get ourselves a Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 8. And then we're going to pull out our Fanged Imp Ashes. What we want to do is drag this Invisible Imp as soon as they hit him, you can hit him. But you want to make sure that they hit him first. Let's go ahead and get rid of our imps. And then we're going to come up to the top. Grab the Graven Mass Talisman. It's a good talisman for all you spellcasters. It's just going to boost your spell damage. And then over to the right, there is a chest. I'm going to scoop it up. Get ourselves a rune arc. And then we're going to jump back across go down the ladder and then as soon as we come out here just to our right come on this gravestone and then we are going to hop down Hop down again, and then hop down again, and then one more time. Just be careful for that enemy up there. Try to do your best to dodge it, and we'll get some old fangs, and then we are going to fast travel back over to the inner consecrated snow field. Let's go to our map. We're going to put a couple of markers down.
First marker is going to be right here. Second one's going to be right here. Third one's going to be right about here. Fourth one's going to be over here. And then fifth one's going to be right here. We're going to be getting a silver scarab over here. Be careful, there are a ton of wolves chasing this silver scarab. I like to take the wolves out first. And then wait for it to come back over here. And then for killing the Silver Scarab, we get the Ash of War, White Shadows Lure. Apparently it's supposed to lure enemies, but I don't know. I never use it. I don't, I don't like it. It's not very useful to me, but maybe it is for you. If you want to try it out or if you like it, feel free to use it. Let's go ahead and drink a flask. Then over here, we're going to get a golden seed. We don't need any more of them. Right here, we have a duelist. We're going to sneak up behind him. Get a backstab. For killing the duelist, we get the Rotten Duelist Greaves along with a Rotten Great Axe. That's essentially a Great Axe that's going to cause Scarlet Rot buildup just like the great hammer that we got earlier on. So right here, we're going to drink a flask and then essentially we're going to have to dodge a bunch of magic missiles. I absolutely loathe this area. Just do your best to get over here. As soon as you get over here, it's a lot easier. Careful not to get stomped on, by the way. So it's coming down, step away from it. Hop up top here. Open it up. And then like always go ahead and put a marker down. We 
We're going to go into this church. Let's go ahead and rest at this grace for just a moment. Get all our flasks and wondrous flask back. We're going to wait until nightfall. We're going to be fighting one more night boss. It's going to be a death bird. Fun times. Come over here. We're going to summon Lutena. Oh, young yet towering sister of ours, let the birthing droplet in and create life for us, for all the Albanorix. We're going to pick up this silver mirror shield and then we'll talk to Latina. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. She's going to give us a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Let's hop on Torrent. We're going to come over to the fifth marker. Grab ourselves a somber smithing stone nine. And then right over here, we're going to hop down, turn around. Grab a Golden Rune 13. And then we want to drink a flask. Be really careful, there's a land octopus up there. And then what I like to do is lure him over here. So I'm not by the land octopus. And there you go. There is the last death bird to kill. Not an easy fight. Do your best. I have died here plenty of times. Practice makes perfect. That's the best I can say. So for killing the death bird, we get the explosive ghost flame. Really good spell for all you spellcasters. Check it out. Try it out. A lot of fun. What we're going to do is we're going to fast travel over to the apostate derelict. Let's go ahead and put our Bloodhound's Fang back on. And then we're going to put a couple of markers down. Our first marker is going to be right over here. Our second one is going to be right over here. We're going to be heading southwest. So we're not going straight to that marker. We can actually bring our bow out. 
We're going to be trying to break one of those statues that usually gives us some smithing material. But we have to use a rune bear, because we love them so much, to break the statue. Now, to give everybody a reference where the statue is, it's right over there. So we have to lure that rune bear right over there, down there. And grab ourselves some golden rune ones. And then use our bow. Go ahead and fall down. That went better than I expected. Now we're coming over here. Get a hero's rune too. And then we want to put a few more markers down. Our first marker is going to be right here. Our second marker is going to be right here. Third marker is going to be right here. Fourth marker is going to be right here. And then lastly, our fifth marker is going to be right there. Now we're about to get invaded by the Sanguine Noble. Gonna hop down right here. Go ahead and buff ourselves up. So for killing him, we get his armor set. Really cool looking armor set. Now we're going to go over to the first marker. Be very careful. There is a rune bear guarding the item that we want. As I say, be very careful. I let him hit me in the face and then miss the item that we're trying to get. Awesome possum. Just some uh, boluses. If you don't care about them, just skip that altogether. Grab that last item. That's a smithing stone eight. You might want that just in case you're leveling up a another weapon or something. And then right over here, we are going to kill all these rats first. Because we want to come in here and grab ourselves a stone sword key. Gonna head over to the fifth marker. So right here, we're gonna have a giant. As Soon as we grab this item, we're going to veer off to the right and we're going to jump inside here. Go ahead and open up the treasure chest and get the unendurable frenzy. We have to wait until everything's de aggroed then we can put some more markers down. So we're going to put a marker here. We're going to put a marker here, then we're going to put a marker here, and then way over here where we killed the Sanguine uh, Noble, we're going to put a marker there.
right here we're going to come to this corner jump out get these guys attention because there's an item that they're guarding it's not really that great of an item it's just some rimmed roa so if you don't care about it don't worry about it now let's go ahead and go over to our first marker we put down get a golden rune 13 and then right over here we can get a stalwart horn charm plus one backtrack just a little bit here grab a smithing stone seven over to the elevator take it on down light this grace oh you know what we should sit at this grace so we can get our wondrous flask of physic back go ahead and light the summoning pool Right over there is a door we're going to be opening up in a little bit. For now we're going to roll off. And then right down here we have an enemy. You're going to want to two hand your weapon. You're going to have a bunch of these stone enemies over here. Get some freezing grease. Right here to the right. Have another stone digger just at the end of the path here. Right here where this ladder is, we're going to fall down. Grab ourselves a rune arc. Here we're going to have an Alabaster Lord. For killing him, we get another Alabaster Lord Sword. Get some Smithing Stone 8s. And then just in case we didn't have enough, we get another Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Go ahead and climb this ladder. Grab a somber smithing stone eight, and then we're going to climb up to the top. And then just over here. Kill that enemy. And then in front of us, we have another one. Right 
right over here. Get a smithing stone eight. Tons of smithing stone eights in here. Have another alabaster lord. Pretty easy to kill these guys. They have no poise. Grab a hero's rune five. It's a really good find. Another smithing stone. And then over here. I'm going to get a somber smithing stone nine. And then we can come over here and by that door, I said, we're going to open up a little later. Well, here's the door. So over here, we're going to have a pretty tough boss. We fought one of them earlier into the walkthrough. in here, summon in our mimic tier. So instead of Estelle the Natural Born, we're fighting Estelle Stars of Darkness. Be very careful, these meteors are so random, they're hard to dodge. I don't know how many times I have died over literally miscalculating where those meteors are going. So for killing Estelle, we get the meteorite of Estelle. That's literally what we just saw him doing. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't find it to be very useful. So now that we have killed Estelle, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the beginning of the Yule Annex Tunnel. Now we're going to go up this elevator. Let's hop on Torn. I'm going to veer off to the left. Be careful of the giant. I like to sneak just by him so that he doesn't see us. And we're just running over to the fourth marker. over here hop on this rock that's right here and then down and we're gonna take this portal over to Mogwin's palace so we are back underground by Nokron
fall off here. Grab a golden rune 11. And then just to the left here, we're going to activate this summoning pool and then light the grace. Now, for those of you that didn't invade anybody, you won't have this pure blood knights medal. Now, don't worry, we are going to get you the map piece, but if you have the pure bloods knight medal, we're going to use it now to go ahead and get the map fragment for Mogwin's palace so we can go ahead and put markers down in the next video. Let's go ahead and use it now. Now, if you don't have the Pure Bloods medal, that's okay. We will be coming over here regardless. It just may be a little more difficult to uh, navigate. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel over to the Palace Approach Ledge Road Grace. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to wrap up. I want to start by telling everybody... Thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.